Dr. Therese, before we go live, I got a quick question. We've been seeing a tremendous amount of increase on the numbers with viewers asking questions about Cupid's Corner. And we're curious, how did that show come about? So I think it came about with uh, just people coming up to us in public or writing us in emails or DMing us, me and Sharice, and asking us, you know, what's the magic? What's the secret behind you guys' relationship? How do you guys do the things you guys do? You know, and it's not really magic. It's just us working hard for together to make our relationship better. You know, we have a working relationship. We have a family relationship. You know, we're together almost 24-7. A lot of people can't do that. So they're just asking, like, you know, what's the tips and what's the tricks? Because it looks like you guys just started dating. And we've been together for over 12 years. We've got a 10-year-old. So, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. So it's our life experience, basically. It's the things that we went through, the trials and tribulations, you know, that we thought that could help people. So that's why we wanted to put it on the tight medical health and lifestyle show as a segment every week. It's become very popular, you know, for the people that can't tune in. We also put it on social media so they can see it. And those people actually write us. So it's really cool to hear people's feedback, whether they write us our timeline, they call here, they text us. You know, so that makes us and motivates us more to want to put out that information so we can really help people in their relationships. We absolutely love helping people, obviously, with Titan Medical Center. That yeah. is what we do. But if we can have those mistakes and then share them with you guys so you guys don't make the same mistakes, then that's what we would like to do as well. So, Absolutely. So, you know, if it could help you in your love life or your relationship, you know, physically, mentally, you know, we are here for you guys. And we want to share that information for you. And that is how Cupid's Corner was born. John. I'm Sharice. And I'm Thaddeus. Yes. AKA Titus O'Neill. <laughs> I didn't want to give them the chance to mess it up. You know, I want to make sure I'm <laughs> introduced the right way. <laughs> and uh, we're here uh, to talk to our good friend, Thaddeus, um, about his travels, his lifestyle, and uh, how Titan therapies have helped him with all this improving quality of life and hopefully improving the different things that he's doing, whether it's helping his immune system on the road because uh, he's traveling all the way around. Um, he's got a grueling work schedule and he's still got to stay in shape and look the part as I know how that goes. Uh -huh. He's, it, right? yeah. he's yeah, definitely doing it, right? And looking good, and, looking uh, good. Uh, you, know, you know, injuries, you know, getting over that and, yeah. and, you know, doing that in a daily routine because those can be nagging too. And then at that point, you know, as we age, we still want to still stay young, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and the inside on the outside. So we'll talk about some of that too as well. So let's just dive right into it. Sharice, you want to take the, the reins on this? Sure, sure. Um, so I would like to pass it over to Thaddeus here and, you know, kind of, I guess my first question, because obviously you do a lot of different things. You travel a lot. So, and you've been with us for quite some time now, too. Um, so I'd like four, to know. Four years, five yeah, years. it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, so I'd like to know, you know, uh, prior to you starting Titan Therapies to now, mm -hmm. what would you say your two top biggest things that you've noticed change wise as far as, and it could be anything mm -hmm. from, you know, whether it's physically, emotionally, mentally, um, what would you say like your two top ones that, that have been the most improvement? Um, I think two top improvements I've had. Number one, uh, I definitely had gotten more energy. Um, and I, I, when I came to you guys, I was really struggling with a lot of fatigue, being mm -hmm. on the road a lot, working out, trying to balance, raising kids, etc., yeah. businesses. Um, I just it just felt drained a lot. And then being able to, to get start get, coming here and getting put on different therapies uh, gave me the opportunity to like start feeling a little different. But then like I was like, well, I'm, I'm not just like tired like I feel like I'm losing strength too mm -hmm. and I don't lift heavy anymore 
So I had to try to find alternate ways to build strength, build muscle, build lean muscle. And I couldn't do that just by going in and lifting weights. I don't have the desire to put 500 pounds on the bench. <laughs> I'm trying to prove like nothing to nobody. Yeah. Uh, so training differently um, and then nutrition uh, is not my skill set. I mean, anybody that follows me on Instagram <laughs> knows that like, I, I, I do... I, I eat whatever I, I like. I like food. Yeah, I love food. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and it's okay for you to love food. You gotta, people. yeah, you listen, you gotta enjoy um, life. You gotta right? enjoy life. I, that's yeah. my biggest Some thing. Genetics, genetics help me out some, yeah. but definitely my Titan therapies help me out a lot yeah. more. Um, and I'm able to get away with a little bit more than I probably should at, <laughs> at, at my age. Um, but I would tell anybody out there, like, uh, it, you know, you have to have proper supplementation to go along with anything you do. Like, you can't just get on a, a diet. Life, it's yeah, a lifestyle It's a lifestyle, change. yeah. It really so, is. Like I, and I was doing the supplements alone, like just over-the-counter stuff or stuff that different guys were trying. Um, and there was really no regimen to it. It's just like, oh, what do you do for this? Or what do you do for gain muscle? Or, oh, I take BCAAs or I do this for recovery and this and that. And it's like, I just need to go to a place where they can put me on an actual regimen mm -hmm. that literally addresses my issues right. like, because my issues aren't the same as someone else. Someone right. else may have issues with like they gain weight and lose weight real quick. I don't mm -hmm. do that, but mm -hmm. I do want to stay lean. Obviously being on television in a multitude of different ways, I want to stay, you know, looking young as much well, as I can. Well, I mean, can. you're constantly in the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. always, you know, we know always that feeling. on, always in public, public speaking, mm -hmm. traveling here and there to speak, to work with kids, to do stuff in the communities, charity, etc. Um, you know, the weight room ain't going to help that. You know no, what I'm saying? Sure. It's going to, yeah. Um, you got to be on point. Yeah, yeah. And, you got to be on uh, point. Just, you know, having been on my, my therapies and my regimen with Titan gives me an opportunity to, like, be sharp mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And in the business that I'm in, I have to be sharp all the time. It's like, true. one thing that you're not, one moment you're not sharp, yeah. and you could lose a lot of stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. This is true. Oh, yeah. And this is even, even just from a speaking standpoint, if I get up there and I'm dragging and Or even you know, a stutter. Yeah. You know, um, and it's okay to stutter because we stutter in normal conversation. Right? Yeah. But it's like if you're like trying to, if you're, you're like foggy and you're trying to give this inspirational speech, it's not going to work. <laughs> right. you know what I mean? um, yeah. You got to be on it for yeah. sure. So, you, you know, it. that's, that's, uh, and like I said, I would encourage any and everybody like, not just because I'm I'm doing Titan, but I, obviously many others are doing it. They've been doing very well for a reason. It works. Um, and but what what I may be what I may have needed, you may not need, mm -hmm. and vice versa. What you need, I may not need. Right. But the the the, the real tailored. Yeah. The real key to it is is coming here to see exactly what you need. Like, and you're not going to get that. Reading on the internet, you're not gonna get that scrolling through Instagram. Oh, buy this or <laughs> shop now or do this. No, you know, uh, no, no, um, no, no. Yeah, they, they, everything they've done has been, I mean, equivalent to going to a doctor's office. They actually have doctors here that will take your blood and sit down with you and go over your blood results and tell you like everything that you're lacking in. If it's iron, if it's vitamin D, if it's whatever, mm -hmm. your estrogen level is too high, your testosterone is too low. All these things, you know. And then there's other like ailments that you can come to them with that they can't diagnose through a blood test. So you mm -hmm. say, hey, man, I've been really having an issue with my left knee. Or my I was just going to say that, shoulder. too. You know, yeah. like I know you've had some prior injuries yeah. and, and it's like you know, we offer stuff, some things for that, too. Yeah, that stuff is like, what can I do to help me with recovery? Uh, hey, I just had surgery mm -hmm. um, or I have a friend that just had surgery. I'm going to send them to you guys because you guys help me get well and help yeah. me recover faster. Um, like, what are these things that are um, going to not only accelerate the healing process, but also like to your point you said earlier, give us an opportunity to make things a part of a lifestyle. Right. right? Like it's not a quick fix thing. You don't just come here and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna give it two months." Yeah. Well, everybody looks for the instant yeah, yeah, gratification. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, everybody everybody's looking that. for it. And I mean, if you're putting in the work, mm -hmm. you'll get more gratification yeah. faster than you would if yeah. you weren't putting in the work. Correct. But yeah. it really is a lifestyle change. Yeah. You know, you yeah. gotta just tighten up on me personally. I mean, I'll, I'll be the first one to say, like, I, I love food too. Mm -hmm. I do. And I, when I work hard. 
I almost justify that that Chick Fil A. You know, I justify that Chick Fil A, and I justify Make those sure nuggets. Make sure y'all pay her for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I'm like, this is justified. I'm gonna eat all these nuggets. It's gonna be so good. But you know, obviously, throughout the week, I try to make smarter choices. You know, and eat properly because it's not just about looks at that point, right? We're talking about internally. Yeah. It can cause, you know, with high salt intake, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It can cause high blood pressure, yeah. you know, high inflammation. cholesterol, yeah. inflammation the throughout the body. Yeah. So we're talking about it internally as well, because mm-hmm. you can look good all day. Mm-hmm. It's not just about looking good. Mm-hmm. It's about being healthy and about extending your life as long as you possibly can. And feeling good, yeah. I mean, we're in preventative medicine right yeah. now. You know, yeah. I've been in the medical field for, 20 years. Okay. Jeez, I don't want to stamp the, my age here, but. Um, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we, this you, is, you, know, you see? I, 20, didn't see, see? I thought you was 20 years old. I was going to say. I, I mean, you you all didn't, y'all old. did not know I was 81. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I look good for 81, right? I'm rocking right. it. I'm saying. So. <laughs> no wonder John, she can, John can't get rid of her. She can't get rid of John. Right. No, he ain't going <laughs> nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> He ain't going nowhere, but I mean, you know, when I'm 200 years old, it's, yeah, he's, yeah, I got a lock and key on that one <laughs> right there. So, but it's, you listen, it, it is important, you know, and back in the day, it was always about, okay, let's, and I'm sure, you know, too, you know, when you back, back in the day when you had to go to the doctor's. It was like, all right, let's wait for something to be broken and then we're going to fix it. Right. But now, you know, it's 2023 yeah. and you can actually prevent it from mm-hmm. happening. Or let's just say you start to see the beginning of diabetes part, you know, mm-hmm. type two, and you're like, okay, wait, I have to make some changes. You start making changes to your, your diet, start making changes to what's going on and possibly get on some therapies that can get that number down, your hemoglobin A1C. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's a game changer, you know, it's a game changer. So if you could be preventative about your health, why not go the extra mile and be preventative so that you can live a longer and a happier life. Especially people that like, like I have, you know, three kids, two sons and, um, and my daughter. Who, my daughter's adopted, but, um, I always look at like, how am I, how am I going to be able to maximize my time on earth with my like yeah. I love running mm-hmm. around with my kids, playing basketball with my kids. Yeah. Uh, they will run circles around me now yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, because they've gotten older and they're twice as athletic as I am right at the moment. <laughs> but to be able to do that, you know, you gotta you gotta have the proper everything. Like you say to your point, preventative. And some people that like there are certain things that that run in my family mm-hmm. that I'm trying to avoid. Of you course. know, diabetes right. being one of them. Of course. Yeah. And in order to you know, try to main, not only maintain this lifestyle, but keep keep it on a pace that like my kids will see the how I live my life and what I do to kind of take care of myself and take mm-hmm. care of my body. And like hopefully, it. yeah, they can mirror mirror that. Like, hey, dad, you know, dad's you know forty something years old. Yeah. I say something because I don't <laughs> trust you. I'm right there with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, but he but he looks he looks great. You know, yeah. he looks young and. It, He's vibrant and he's got, you know, energy and mm-hmm. every time he goes into a room, yeah. it's like the whole energy of the room goes up yeah. and stuff like that. Like, I want to, I want to ha- have that as long as I'm on earth. Of course. Yeah. I can't do that on my own. Yeah. You know, I know for a fact I can't do that on my own. Trust me. Because I'm, I'm going to be eating and chilling and going to different events and doing all this stuff. This and you event. got a lot going on yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, and I, I like, you know, I, I think mental health. It's, it, it, mental health counseling is important. Of course, yep, of I, I go to uh, uh, to the gym. It's yeah. Going is important. Is important. I take yoga now. It's important. Oh, wow. But all that stuff is like counterproductive if you don't have the right supplementation. I agree. Yeah. I mean, when we talk about mental health, right? Mm-hmm. So I was just doing a thing about this in my live the other day that they did a study and people that had depression mm-hmm. instead of taking depression medication they actually ran it with, with doing exercise mm-hmm. and it was 42 percent more effective mm-hmm. than depression uh, anti you know uh depressants if they're taking them yeah. right. so it's, it's really really cool mm-hmm. to see that um but leading into that hormones mm-hmm. so there's a lot of guys out there or girls and girls yeah 
they start feeling down mm-hmm. and they've got everything going for them, right? Mm-hmm. They've got all the money in the world, the relationship's good, their kids mm-hmm. are good. And they're like, what's wrong? Right? Mm-hmm. And they just feel down. They don't yeah. know why. Yeah. And, you know, if they go into a general practitioner sometimes, they'll go there and tell them this, and guys especially, and they, they talk about how they don't feel so good anymore mm-hmm. about themselves and like, self confidence is down. And even the bedroom, the libido is down too as well. Mm-hmm. And usually those general practitioners, they don't run a blood test on them. Mm-hmm. They just put them on antidepressants. Mm-hmm. They put them on you know, Viagra or whatever mm-hmm. it may be. The quick fix the band-aid. Right? And it, it cures the symptoms yeah. to a certain extent. Or it might make them worse or yeah. they just don't get over the depression portion. But testosterone, I mean, we're talking about receptors in the brain. Mm-hmm. At that point, that could help a lot of patients out mm-hmm. maybe feeling better. We know mm-hmm. that's going to bring self-confidence. Um, it's going to make them feel better all the way around. Mm-hmm. And at that point, you know, we want people to feel good mm-hmm. on the inside yeah. and the yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just about the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's a lot of people, like, I mean, we see it on Instagram all the time, you know, people getting surgeries. And I'm not yeah. against you doing whatever you want to do to right. your body. Right. But, like, that alone is not going to no. do anything for you on the inside. No. Mm-hmm. And it's really not going to do much for you on the outside because you still got maintenance with that stuff, of too. Course. Right. Of course. Right. Right. But if you... If you're going to spend all that money on a surgery, follow up with it. At least do your best to, uh, to, 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 I mean, because you, you go through all this pain. Like, I've seen some of the videos yeah. of people that have got certain yeah. things done. Oh, man. It's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I those BBLs are crazy. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, so long. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean so, I'm seeing, I'm seeing people that get it done and then they've been patient. I mean, remember, we've been open for 11 yeah, years. Yeah. So we've had some patients yeah, yeah. on with us for 10 years, yeah. nine years, whatever yeah. it is. See them get the surgery done, not make the changes that mm-hmm. they should make. Yeah. And then come back to us yeah. saying, yeah. I need a quick fix because yeah, yeah, yeah. this is yeah. what happened. And I'm yeah. like, Listen, we can give it to you all day, but I'm telling you, you're going to have the yo-yo effect. Yeah. And you're going to continue having the yo-yo effect until you decide that you want to make those changes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it doesn't all have to be at one time either. You know, you don't have to say, all right, I'm going to quit, you know, all this alcohol. I'm going to quit everything. I'm going to quit all the fast food. I'm going to go to the gym every day at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm working out for two hours. It doesn't, mm-hmm. it doesn't need to be that aggressive. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could literally just start somewhere. I mean, yeah. start somewhere by walking. Walk your dog, go outside, you know, um, me personally, I'm busy. I do work probably about 15 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's in between the baseballs coming between my ears Mm -hmm. with my kid. So, you know, it is what it is and I have to balance it out, you know, and John's coaching and I just, there's so much going on. So, you know, but the minute I get it, like, okay, maybe I got like 50 emails I got to check. All right, let me go get on, you know, the treadmill real quick and at least walk. Mm -hmm. So you see, you got to maximize your time and be smart about it and really have time management. Cause Mm -hmm. anybody that ever says that they don't have time, and when you start breaking down how many hours are actually in the day, if you, if you put it together properly, mm-hmm. you can you make time. Time, time you management. Time. You can make time. Yeah. You can. Yeah. It's a matter of yeah. whether or not you want to make time and what you prioritize at that That's point. True. Or what you're forced to make time yeah. for. Or what you're forced yeah. to make and, time for. Yeah. In regards to health, you see a lot of people that are making decisions about their health because they're forced to, not because they want to. Right. Mm-hmm. right. And, um, you know, the thing that I've, I've always wanted to make sure that, that I do is always not have to be forced to do it, right. not have to be forced to address it. Right. So staying on top of that stuff, um, whether you're exercising every day or two days a week or, or even one day a week, like you manage that by the way you eat mm-hmm. and then what type of, you know, regimen, therapy regimen that you're doing. Right. Um, cause I've seen people that, that I've seen, they look phenomenal. I'm like, man, you must be in the gym, like, yeah. you know, all the time, yeah. <laughs> five, day seven day. days a week, this and that. <laughs> it's like, no, actually, I work out, I, li- I do weights one time a week, mm-hmm. I do yoga twice a week, oh, wow. I do boxing once a week, and I'm good. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, two of them are clients of y'all, so. Oh, wow. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I'm like, how, that. how, uh, how. I, I want to get to that. Yeah. Point, you know what I'm like I'm not. I got it all wrong. Yeah. It's, can you send me that, that the workout part and how you, when you do boxing yeah. and when you do this and when you do that? And so I've actually tried to mirror that some. But um, the the real key for me, I, I believe, is like just being disciplined on 
my regimen. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I'm not going to be disciplined on my food mm -hmm. unless I'm forced mm -hmm. to get disciplined on my food. Mm -hmm. Right. I, if I wake up one morning and I don't feel like going to the gym, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, For some sure. people, you know, if I if I don't, because our bodies need rest too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I used Sleep to, is I mean, imperative. I used to Recovery. just be like, you know, I gotta fight through it. I gotta yeah. get up. I gotta fight through it. Yeah. No, nah, bro, I ain't trying to impress nobody. Yeah. I'm trying to live. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a happy life? Fight, yeah. You know, you want to enjoy it. If I gotta it. fight through it, yeah, it means I don't even need to do it. No, yeah. I agree. It's like. You know, posting something on social media. Yeah. If I got to think about it, yeah. I probably shouldn't up. post it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If I got to think, well, you know, I wonder if this. Uh, yeah, or how should I, uh, I mean, what should I do? Yeah, you yeah. know, just forget about it. And recovery is key. A lot of people forget about that. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know, you don't want to train seven days a week. You need mm -hmm. a day or two mm -hmm. off to mm -hmm. let your body repair itself. Yeah. Um, when we talk about sleep. That's an important mm -hmm. key role. And, you know, as we are all busy mm -hmm. here, they're sitting here really busy. Very, yeah. um, it's hard to get that good amount of eight hours in, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm getting six to maybe eight and Sharice is maybe a little less. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm with you. It's, you know, that's <laughs> I haven't, I, I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I got eight hours. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time for me. And it's I just, mean, it's people just, always you know, ask me, you know, man, I see you on social media. You're here, you're there, you're this yeah. and that. Do you ever sleep? I'll be like, yeah, I take cat now. Yeah. yeah right? On the plane. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta get Sometimes not even there. Not even playing. Yeah. So you're sitting next to somebody who wants yeah. to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You know, I know what it is to, to not get that sleep and then have to perform the next mm -hmm. day. I mean, because mm -hmm. we got responsibilities and there's no taking days off. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if, have, even if you have to fight through it some days, it sucks, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But repairing muscle goes in sleep, right? And that's when we need recovery. So at that point, you want to try to get sleep because that's a positive change in your lifestyle too as well. Let me, let, me, let me ask you this question. I'm just for both of y'all. So, sure. like, we're all around the same age. Yeah. Um, she's not. She's I mean, like she's five not, years. She's 21. She's yeah, yeah, she's 21. Okay. She's yeah. Clarify that yeah, real quick. 21, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, that's if you had one therapy, mm -hmm. and this is for each one of you, if you had one therapy that, like you say, I, there's no way I cannot have this as part of my regimen, what would it be? It would be HRT for me. Mm -hmm. Testosterone replacement, if you need it, yeah. that is the, the, the life changer. Mm -hmm. and everything else helps in other ways. You know, you got semi-glutide for weight loss, yeah. curbing appetite, Hercules potion for pump and all. But without your hormones in mm -hmm. check and optimized, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, that's a loser. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can do different things. Like, let's say you need to cover up with energy. You can take yeah. energy drinks and all yeah, this, yeah, yeah. but it's not the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. If you can get the natural feeling, and, and I believe that's it, that's the key to anti-aging. Mm -hmm. Because as we age, mm -hmm. those hormones all decline. Mm -hmm. And I, I always bring it back to the example of a flower. We grow, we bloom, we wither, and we die. Mm -hmm. So it's the exact same thing. We're on a, we're on a decline, a default, mm -hmm. and everything starts going down with it. Mm -hmm. So if you can turn back the clock internally, that's when you'll feel better on the outside and inside, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and feel like you're at a younger age. You know, I mean, that's, that's what the body's doing. It's basically replenishing what it doesn't have mm -hmm. and it's bringing it back to optimal levels and that's what your body usually is in this prime mm -hmm. so if we can bring it back to those prime levels and everything dialed in like that you know i think i think that's the, uh, that would to me would be my pick john definitely needs testosterone okay mm -hmm. guys for many reasons let's make sure john gets his testosterone <laughs> on time <laughs> well, I want, you know, listen, she's, a little, uh, it's, she's a little aggressive <laughs> I'm not aggressive at all yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more or less you know like because he's got so much to do and you know we're business partners mm -hmm. so i i, I she mean, he's got point i gotta have him that's like i gotta have him like going yeah. you know it's like because i'm constantly going my yeah. my therapy would be the ECAs. Okay. Um, That's a good one too. I I I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to be without it. And the reason why is because I'll be honest, because I'm brutally honest all the time. Um, I don't get a chance to work out. Like I very very seldomly. I, if it is, it realistically once a week, and it's for twenty or thirty minutes, and I get then I get pulled away to do something else. But the ECAs. Yeah, I mean, because I'm not I'm not making time. time. Yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. like, is it sleep? Is it sleep or is it working out? I'm like, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. So, you know, or it might We're be dinner. Work on you on your time it might be management. dinner, you know? I I'm, I'm work on that time man, yeah. for sure. I mean, you, know, you gotta get these girls next door, man. I'm telling you. You gotta get them under control. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The staff gotta get under control now, so yeah. I can get a little time. Yeah. But um, you know, in the bigger scheme of things, it's worth it. But the ECAs, honestly, I'm, I'm even on my worst day where I only get like two hours of sleep 
if I get up and I take that, I'm usually off to the races. Right. And not only that, you know, obviously for the girls, you know, me particularly, I like to stay skinny. So it keeps me nice and lean and, you know, it's a, it's a prescription thermogenic. So it constantly is burning fat no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm sitting at a desk yeah, or I'm around. I was about to around. say, can you, like, explain so I know what it is. Yeah. I know it's about like, ECA. So, yep, when it's I a, ECA, yep, I don't know it's a ephedrine, that. caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. And it's all in one capsule. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes you, because back in the day, the I'm sure. White, the every, white pill. Yeah, what's that? The blue and white pill. Well, there's different doses. Oh. There's, just, there's different dosages mm -hmm. for di different tolerances, mm -hmm. right? Because I have a lower tolerance to caffeine. And I don't want to be jittery. I don't want heart palpitations or any of that. So we have a high dose and a low dose. So most people take the high dose, but me personally, I do take the low dose. Um, but you know, with that combination, some people get those over the counter fat burners, right? And when you go and get the over the counter fat burners, cause I remember taking these back in the day before any of this ECA came along, right? Um, you just don't know what you're getting. Yeah. You have no idea what you're putting in your body and nobody's regulating it. So anybody can put together a bottle of sugar and call it the best, you know, fat burning pill you'll ever see in your life. And then you're just taking it. Yeah. Next thing you know, kidney functions might be messed up. Liver enzymes might be high. You know, maybe you do end up with some heart issues, that kind of yeah. stuff. So heart palpitations, anxiety, jitteriness. I mean, these are common because yeah, they, you don't want that. They stack all these different components in there that are supposed to be stimulants. Mm -hmm proprietary blends and all these other yeah. things. And then you don't know what you're cutting, yeah. you know? So, I mean, that that one right there is a lifesaver for me. I mean, yeah. It definitely went a lifesaver. Yes. You know, flipping, flipping the switch here, because I was going to ask you the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say, like, you know, because I know you do take a lot of therapies from Titan. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm sure it's changed in many different aspects mm -hmm. of your life. But if you had to pick two of your favorite therapies, mm -hmm. which ones would they be? Uh, BPC-157. I knew you were going to say that. Uh, for the injuries. For, yeah, injuries, healing peptide. Recovery, healing, peptide. healing peptide. And then uh, probably glutathione. Oh, oh wow. okay. Yeah. That's um, a key. I was going to say NAD. And they use another NAD's one. NAD's a big one, man. That's a huge one. That's yeah. a big one. Anti-aging, energy, and mental focus. clarity. Focus. Yeah. 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 Probably, yeah. If I, I mean, it'd be between glutathione and NAD. Uh, if I yeah. had to pick three, it would definitely be BPC-157 would be the... Top one, then toss up between NAD yeah. and glutathione. Yeah. yeah, the glutathione for you, I think, would be really important because of all the travel. Yes. And, you know, not only that, but with your injuries mm -hmm. comes inflammation. Mm -hmm. And glutathione helps with inflammation of the body. Yeah. So that's kind of hitting different categories. I knew you would say one of the healing peptides, mm -hmm. too, because of the multiple yeah. injuries that you Preventive have. Preventive for traveling, too, yeah. as well, being around a whole yeah. bunch of people. Too. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, well... That is, we don't want to take too much of your time. We know you're busy, mm -hmm. um, but we appreciate you coming by. Right. Yeah. As always, we great seeing you, you, man. We love, we love you. Much, man. We do Thank love you. you. Always Thank you. Always Thank you. Always Thank you. Always face always us. be smooth. And <laughs> I need to get, what I need to get some more, like a, a higher dose so I can look like, super young. I right. need to get something that'll keep me from graying, but I don't think y'all have that. Oh, man, I don't know me. about that. As soon as yeah. I find that, I mean, I got, I got, it too, right? I got me a couple growing I, in, I but every time I see it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh-uh. Yeah, 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 I yeah. pull it right out. Yeah, yeah I got right just for men that just helped me. <laughs> Once I get that, it's on for sure. You guys understand, though, right? Just for the record, that, you know, the, 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 the couple grays, guys, it's a good look. Yeah, on occasion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're, we're going to see here with a couple grays. We'll yeah, tell you the same see, thing. Yeah, I right? said I'm the say, bed. Hey, Sharice, it's a good look. <laughs> it looks, it looks Why good. Why did you take it out? <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, we appreciate um, it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching the interview with, with Titan Thaddeus O'Neill. Yeah. Right? Um, so we appreciate it. That is. Thank you. Thank you as always, man. All right, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank you, always guys. See you guys soon. Tighten out. <laughs>